Welcome back. Um, this is uh, part two of the series on uh, making uh, pinch bowls using uh, air dryer self-hardening clay. And uh, it's a terracotta clay. <clears throat> and the last uh, part one, we made a pinch bowl. And now we're going to smooth it out. Um, as you can see from the clock on the ground there, it's time to get started. Uh, that clock doesn't work, but okay. So last session we uh, we covered, we made a pinch bowl, roughed it out, got the shape we wanted, and then we covered it with plastic loosely. Uh, that was about a day ago. I've let it harden up a bit. Now we're going to take it out. Um, depending on the weather in your area, if it's too uh, hard you can spray a little water on it but this however is uh, is good moisture it's it's still pretty pliable okay so what we want to do now once we've established the shape of the bowl is we want to look at the lines see how the silhouette looks and uh, we want to smooth out starting with the interior we want to smooth out that surface and then we're going to smooth and shape the exterior. So what we have in our kit is a, uh, let's call this a rib tool. It's a stainless steel tool. It doesn't rust. <clears throat> Sorry about the noise. I'm in a uh, flight path here in Monterey near the airport. Okay, so Taking your bowl then and the rib, and you can kind of flex the rib. Take it inside the bowl and just uh, see if you can see here, start to smooth out. And it'll give you a nice round, smooth surface there. Don't worry about the nicks a little bit there, just we can work those out by hand. So taking your rib tool you're just flexing it a little bit and we'll smooth out that inside. Okay, and then some of the nicks you can just take your fingers and smooth out there. Okay. Now the same on the exterior. Take the same tool and let's just going different directions. Now using your fingers kind of support from the inside now. And if you have some low spots there, you push up with your finger a little bit. And just take that rib tool and shape the exterior. This is still very soft, pliable clay. Um, at this stage, we call this wet work where the clay is still very moist. There's a lot of water in it still. And uh, so we go ahead and smooth that out. Okay, uh, the other thing we can do now is you see the rim is a little uneven and we can uh, level that if you'd like. Some people like it uneven like that, that's fine. But a technique that we use for that is to uh, Take your pin tool, this we haven't used before, but take the pin tool and a, your uh, fettling knife, or any stick will do, and just find the lowest spot on the bowl, which is right here. And we're going to just score a line. So lower this tool down, hold this level at a 45 degree angle, or a 90 degree angle, I'm sorry and start with the very lowest spot on the bowl and just holding it steady just rotate the bowl and score an even line so now you can see there's a scored line all the way around the, the bowl okay so then we take our pin tool 
and we're going to follow that line. Just go a couple passes there, your pin tool. My bluebird came to visit us today, so. Remember, where do we always want to be when we're working? In a happy place. Okay, so if you're upset, maybe you should wait until you're calmed down. Am I upset with that bird? No. Love the bird. Love the bird. Okay. Also have a cat back here somewhere. He may join us. His name's Shadow. He's a black cat. Okay, so now you've got a level surface. Save this clay. You can recycle it, put it back in the bag, keep it moist. Here, I'll, I'll put that back in the bag now. You always want to keep this from drying out, so put that bag back away there. Okay, now, as you see, this has gotten kind of thick here, a little rough around the edges, so let's smooth the edge out. Kind of pinch it again, get a nice even edge there. Okay, and one, uh, kind of smooth that out there. See, so we're fairly level. Now, one trick that I learned. If you really want to get a nice even edge, is to uh, take a, uh, this happens to be my old license, but credit card will work. And uh, you just cut a slot in there, the shape that you would like the lip of your pot to be. This is a little, little big. You see it. It's a little big for this, so I'm going to cut another one. So you can put multiple size shapes in there. So I'm going to cut a little smaller slot. So you see we have a, a little thinner slot there. And just taking the tool, just run it along. You see how it's scoring there, so let me trim that off a little bit more. You can kind of round this corner so it doesn't dig into the piece. So you see that's rounded there. Okay, and just taking that, running it along the the lip of the bowl. And you get a fairly even Okay, so now you can smooth that out a little bit with your hands. Some of those gouges you can Take your rib and smooth out. So you see I'm supporting the rib with my fingers there. So you get a nice smooth surface. And take some time and finish that. You can use a little water at this point with your water sprayer there, just to smooth out that. Don't use too much water. Water can be your friend, water can be our enemy. Okay, so 
Again, take your time. Do a nice finished job on that lip there. Make sure, let's try to keep the bowl round. Now on the outside, another thing we like to do, sneak in your kitchen, take your wife or your mother's spoon, makes a good paddle. Don't get in trouble. You can also do the same with a wooden uh, paint stick that you get from Home Depot. Okay, so we're looking at the silhouette of the bowl. It's a little uneven there, so you can take this paddle and just moving around. Again, you're supporting it on the inside with your fingers and just shaping. Takes a lot of the roughness out of the ex outside of the bowl there. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear our dogs, four dogs inside are having some fun there. Okay, so you see, if you have a little bit of rough texture, you can smooth that out with the wooden paddle. All right, so we have a fairly nice smooth bowl now. Let's check it, make sure it's level. You can pat it a little bit just to make sure it, it sits flat on a table, not too hard. Okay, now take your time again on this. Get it as smooth as you'd like. Some people like the rough texture. That's personal preference. But once we get it to this stage, we consider it finished as far as constructing the bowl and doing the finish work. What we then want to do is on the bottom here, what I want each of you to do, and this is a good habit to get into, is uh, you can take a pencil. I want you to put your first initial and then your last name and put uh, 8, 20 for the, just the month and the year. Okay, and it's fun to look back years from now and see where you started, where you progress. And uh, also for me, when you turn in pieces, uh, when we get back into class, I, I need the uh, always first initial, last name, full name, the month and the year. Okay, so now we're going to let this slowly dry. Part three will be decorating the pieces. And I'll show lots of examples. Uh, this is a finished piece. And uh, I want you to start thinking about once you get your bowl to this stage, start looking. You can look on Pinterest. Um, look online. We're going to probably do some things with pre-Columbian design. Uh, so look that up. See if you can find some design ideas. Come up with your own design. Uh, and I'd like you to start sketching some of your ideas. So just get some sketch paper and before you start the uh, decoration we'll uh, come up with some ideas. Okay. So that's uh, Part two of uh, looks by the clock. We're running out of time here. So um, thank you for joining me and uh, see you soon once this dries up and we'll start the uh, decorating process. All right. Thank you.